In this daily dose of public speaking wisdom, you're going to pick up an insight that I've gained from speech contests the last couple of years that has helped me become a much more effective and impactful coach. If you saw some of my recent posts about the Toastmasters International Conference, you know that I had the great opportunity to interview several world champions of public speaking. In watching this year's contest, I realize I have changed how I evaluate not just contest speeches, but presentations in general. When I first started coaching, I was very involved in the technical side, the structure, the formula. How do you make sure that you, you're clear on your message and you have supporting ideas and you're opening and concluding with power? I still do that. However, there's a much more important element that I first look at or listen for when I'm evaluating speakers and presentations. I'm looking for feeling. Did your speech make me feel something? Did I have a visceral response? Did I feel sadness? Did I feel happy? Did I feel the punch in the gut? Did I feel the, oh, never thought of that. That's what I'm first looking for now. After that, I'll get into the technical side. And what was interesting, the two contests that I was in, just going on that formula, I was able to pick the three winners of the semifinal and the winners of the final in sequential order. Not because I have superpowers, but because I put the technical aspect of speaking to the side momentarily to ask the question, did I feel something? Did I have that aha moment where I got it in my gut? then go to the technical side, which is often the difference maker between first, second, and third. As you're crafting your presentations, or even evaluating others, ask yourself, is there an emotional moment here? Am I stirring the emotions? And if you can't answer that, then you have to go get feedback. Take it to a Toastmasters group, a local civic organization, ask them for specific feedback. One of the questions I always ask of people now is, did you feel? And if you did, what emotion did this stir? Start with that, and you've got a much better chance of impacting your next audience. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.